I was actually watching the show back last night, and I, sometimes I study it to see what I can fix and improve, and um, believe me, I don't sit around watching myself all the time. But I noticed that Marie Kondo's picture was facing this way, and I felt like, no, 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 no. Marie needs to face out. So I'm so sorry, Marie. I had you in the wrong position, and that won't happen again. Hashtag closer to condo. Okay, so we're going to jump into all the pop headlines right away that you need to know about. It's Pop Culture and Entertainment Tonight edition. I can't help it. I'm, I'm working the lasso. Okay, joining me is my co-pilot and a true expert because he's the host of Entertainment Tonight and my friend, the lovely Kevin Frazier. Drew, what's going on? How are you this morning? How are you doing today? I'm good, Kevin. How are you? I'm so good. You know, Marie Kondo actually came and cleaned up my office. So the fact that you have her picture there is amazing. <laughs> Did you meet her in person? Um, I went out of town and they brought her into my office, Nichelle, who's next door, and she reorganized my office while I was gone. It was crazy. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to pull it together. Okay, we'll, we'll sidebar <laughs> about that afterwards. I gotta shake it off, shake it off, shake yes. it off. Okay, hashtag closer to condo. condo. Okay, um, okay, first up, this story is so important. The LA Lakers, they won their first championship in 10 years, and LeBron got his fourth ring. And we have officially seen the end of the NBA bubble. How is LA celebrating this huge, important, meaningful win in this ever most important, meaningful year? Listen, there's no parade. Um, that will come later on after the bubble is over. But um, there was a party inside the bubble down in Orlando. The guys had a great time. Some people here in LA celebrated, but you know, as I know, that this town belongs to Kobe Bryant. Yeah. And it's all about Kobe Bryant. And this win was for Kobe. His widow, Vanessa, wrote a beautiful and touching message to everyone out there in Laker Nation. And you have to remember, Rob Palenka, who is the general manager of the team, was Kobe's best friend, but he was also Kobe's daughter, Gianna's godfather. So oh. he, he, you know, this has been a special mission for him. And so to see the Lakers win, you know you can't go five feet in LA without seeing another Kobe and Gianna mural. So I am so happy. Our hearts are with Vanessa and it's, it's a magic moment for LA. It really is. It's I'm special. I'm so glad. And I realized that it, uh, his passing happened in 2020. It was, yeah. and, and that was something I hadn't really realized and calculated that it was all within this calendar year and this extraordinary year. And I'm so glad that something positive and healing and honoring and spiritually uplifting. And my friend Christy, who I do social media with, we always talk. She always says when there's sports, there's hope. And to see that the yes. bubble worked, uh, to see that L.A. Yes. is getting to celebrate in all the ways that it should. Um, it's we need to hold on to these moments when something goes in a direction that eventually feels uplifting. Eventually, Drew will get to celebrate. Eventually, there yeah. will be one heck of a party, as you know. Okay. Well, well, um, but well deserved. Gotta... Well deserved. And LeBron, he's just, he, yes. he just, Amazing. he comes through every time. So, um, on a much lighter note, um, we just got a brand new Croc creation, yes. the Justin Bieber limited edition. Oh, and they drop today. The Biebs designed him himself. Kevin. You're going to rock a crock? Uh, I would rock a crock. Um, you know, his um, new collaboration with Crocs has a shout out to his clothing brand, Drew House. They have a little few little pins and stuff on the front. They're yellow. They're cool. Listen, I like the Justin Bieber croc, and there was the Bad Bunny croc, which sold out in minutes. I think the Bieber croc will go fast. But if I'm going to rock a croc, you know there's only one brand of croc I'm going to rock, Drew. Come on. It's the Drew Barrymore croc. Well, Let's thank you for mentioning Let's it, Kevin. Yes, I did. I, I kicked off a big sort of like turning point in uh, 
Crocs. They just, they wanted to, I think their whole direction they went with Post Malone. I was honored that they asked me to come and join the club. I loved being an ambassador for them. And Justin Bieber's company is called Drew because that's his middle name. Yeah. So you, yes. I've actually provided him with images. Like he has Drew t-shirts with my face on it, which is so fun. And we just have a lot of symmetry and that's really exciting. Okay, um, the I, scream. I love that. I'm sorry. I love that. And I want to say that, you know what? Follow your passion. That's an important thing. When celebs follow their passion and do something that they love, and so you could tell you love the Crocs. Okay, go ahead. Go to I, screen. Let's I go to do. Screen. I do, and I love Justin Bieber, so, you know. Um, okay, <laughs> but something else that I love and I feel very loyal to is Scream 5. And what's the mm -hmm. scoop, Kevin? It's shooting now. It is shooting out, and all the OGs are back. And I really do think, Drew, that this gives you the opportunity to break a little news right now because anything's possible in the movies. Anything is possible. Could you be back for Screen 5? Since all the OGs are coming back, would you do it? Could they find a way to bring you back, even though you're character? I'm like, did you chill. see what happened to me in that movie? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm going to need a <laughs> lot of ace bandages to come back. Okay, but... One of the folks who's back is Nev Campbell. She is fantastic in this franchise. And guess what, Drew? Nev has a special shout out for you. We caught up with her last what? night. Listen up. Yes. Drew, it's Nev. Oh my goodness. I'm about to go shoot Scream 5 in uh, two weeks. And I hearken back to our beginning, the first film, what that's done for my career, having you in that film and what that did for that film. You're so amazing. You always have been. I hope all is well. Thank you, Nev, and thank you, Kevin. I have to say, having Drew's news with Entertainment Tonight, like, that's another good collab that really means so much to me and my heart. You're the best. Please come back and do this we with me again. We love working with you. Okay, good, please, please. Da-na-na-na-na-na, Drew's news. Um, Kevin, you're the best.